We're going to be looking at situations with two light rays. We'll stick to just two. It works with three or four or however many. But we're going to stick to situations with just two. So we're going to look at situations with two paths and see if it's constructive or destructive. Or we're going to do that process backwards. We're going to look at a situation with two paths. We're going to know if it's constructive or destructive. We'll know everything about one path. And then we'll use that to find out information about the other. OK? It's a lot of problem solving, not a lot of equations here. And a little bit different from, say, unit one. It's going to really be about process. So we're going to do a lot of problems with a lot of applications. Interferometers, which I'll talk about in just a second, introduce the idea. Soap, uh, thin films like soap bubbles. Uh, the double slit experiment that we've mentioned a few times in class already. Uh, we'll go through why that works. In fact, you'll use this in, la in the next lab to measure the thickness of a hair. And hopefully, assuming we have time, we will get to microscope resolution. But it's all just looking at differences in optical path. We are mostly going to focus on light rays, but a wave is a wave is a wave, and this totally works for an electron wave, too. <laughs>